I found out that I had talent for dancing when um, in the beginning of my high school years. My mom noticed that I needed something to be involved with and she asked me, what do you want to do? Like, what do you want to learn? Is there anything that interests you? And I said, well, dancing. And there was a flyer in the school that I used to go to in elementary, which was a Christian school, Manhattan Christian Academy. She said, well, I found this flyer and I was surprised that she actually found something because even right now, there's not a lot of Christian dance schools. So she enrolled me, but I started going to it. And I was in the beginning, I wasn't really too interested in it because they started off as with worship and praise. And I was just like, I don't know what this is. I go to church, but I don't really understand it because as a teenager, you're in that motion or those thoughts of like, I honestly don't understand life, I'm just living it. I do expressive, which many people would see as contemporary, with modern and ballet. That's my mixture, but we try to incorporate a little bit of everything, Spanish music, African dance, jazz, whatever it can be, like, because we have understood that like God created everything, so why not take those things to, to worship God or to express God's love and care for other people. So these are some instruments that I use. Um, most of them are my go-to. Um, I love to throw streamers, but you would have to be wise about this one because they're so long. So it pops open, especially when you dance. Um, whenever you're doing anything with streamers, it's like you establishing different things. Like, let's say this white one, it can signify establishing God's purity, God's holiness. These are the fans, and we use them, and each one of them have different meanings. Like, this one is has different colors, so it's like the promise of God over our lives. There's some that are just like red, orange, and like a different kind of darker orange, and it's like the fire of God. There's also the tambourine, which I love using because it signifies the different battles that we go through. Like we battle depression, we battle um, anxiety, we battle brokenness inside of us. There's also this one. There, this is called manto. It's purple and has a hint of blue. Purple means royalty, like the royalty of God the Father, and the royalty of his kingdom. I have had the privilege to go to different countries around the world, like the Dominican Republic, Curaçao. I feel privileged to go to these countries and show other people what God has given me or clear different things in these different countries. Like once I went to Venezuela and once I got out of that plane, like you felt the atmosphere like so heavy because of so much going on in the country. It really opens my eyes to see, you know, it's not just for staying in a box, but it's like going out and teaching other people that they can be free and expressing that through my dance. I have learned to come out of different processes in my life. My most recent one was how my parents, like they separated and that was really devastating to me. I um, allowed God, God to teach me to rely on Him. What dancing for the Lord has shown me is that I have a body and I can use it for good. I was a teenager that would look for love with boys or look for love in um in in friends and like but it wasn't the the right kind of love but with dancing I really learned to move and to express my love to God and him to like for me to feel it while I'm dancing I used to not think that God would see everything that I I would do or I would do things with my body that weren't, wasn't correct. 
but now that I've understood like that my body is for God and, and my body is a temple it has changed the way that I think I don't think of oh what's in my past but like what's ahead our dance is not just a normal dance it's like life-changing the same way that I was shy but now I'm like I can say that I'm becoming bolder and bolder in, in Christ through our dance we show other people that God is real that God is present that God is everywhere that we go or he's he he lives in, in he's alive and he lives inside of us